hundred directly architecture. In the X got five hundred directly architecture, the client queries and receive responses from one or more server in the directly service with the directly access protocol, controlling the communication between the client and the server. X five hundred offer quite a few features such as powerful searching capability that provide searching facilities that allow users to construct randomly complex queries. Single global namespace, much like the DNS, S.500 provide a single homogeneous namespace to user. The S.500 namespace is more flexible and expandable than the DNS. The third feature is that the structured information framework that defines the information framework used in the directory allowing lower local expansion. Moving on is the uh, how it operates and how it works. So here is the diagram of how it works. Firstly, an information model determines the form and character of information in the directory. A namespace allows the information to be referenced and organized. A functional model determines what operation can be performed on the, on the information. An authentication framework allows information in the directory, directory to be secure. A distributed operation model determines how data is distributed and how its operations are carried out. The information model is centered around entry, which are composed of attributes. Each attribute has a type and one or more values. The type determines the attribute syntax, which defines what kind of information is allowed in the value. Moving on is the scraping involved. A directory service with no on with non authenticated access from the internet is difficult to protect from an authorized use. An authorized use will be defined by each organization within the directory purpose statement. Typical misuse being by individuals who attempt to duplicate the directory for authorized purposes. Other security measures include access control D, limitation on number of entries returned to a query, and time to search flag. The result of such control will affect the legitimate user as well as the user they are attempting to block. An alternative way they may provide prote protection from misuse is to create and display an attribute with each entry stating non-approved usage. This feature will also provide evidence of restricted reuse use in the event that a legal case is necessary to stop unauthorized access. The responsibility again falls on the data provider implementator of the directive service. As the programmer will create or make use of existing tools to protect against data destruction, fail duplication, and misuse. Thank you.